CBZ Bank, heavily linked to controversial tycoon Kutukwish Tagware, has been handed the monopoly of payments for application of electronic passports, launched by President Emerson Nangagwa, his close ally. According to Statutory Instrument 273 of 2021 issued by the government, an ordinary e-passport will cost US $100, while an emergency e-passport goes for US $200. CBZ Holdings, the holding company, where Tagware is reported, have a 30% stake. Zimbabwe passport holders must swap their passports for a new e-passport before December 31, 2023, when current passports will cease to be accepted internationally. The current type of passports, issued before the date of operation of these regulations, will cease to be acceptable internationally by 31 December, 2023 and will therefore need to be replaced by e-passports in terms of these regulations," read the SI. A recent report by the Sentry titled Shadows and Shell Games, uncovering an offshore business empire in Zimbabwe, revealed key details of Tagware's business dealings alleging that he presides over a sprawling network of more than 40 companies spanning the oil, mining, banking, logistics, transportation, and import-export, which have been linked to alleged corrupt activities in state. Tagware has since combined his mining assets with the government to form an opaque company called Kuvimba Mining. The United States Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control OFAC, slapped sanctions on Tagware and his Secunda Holdings Company for allegedly providing support to the ZANU-PF regime and promoting corruption. A report by Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project exposed that Tagware, after being sanctioned for corruption, continued to do business by relocating his network to Mauritius. Meanwhile, through Fossil Group, Tagware is receiving millions of dollars from the ZANU-PF government for road construction contracts, and one of his many companies, Landella Investments, reportedly received US $110 million from the government to import buses for the state-run Zimbabwe United Passenger Company, Zupco, 